Hey guys, it's Ellie, and today I'm going to show you one of my very favorite go-to hairstyles, a regular everyday bun using a bun maker and spin pins. And there are like a million ways that you can make buns, but today I'm going to show you the two different ways that I use all the time, and I hope you enjoy it. So all you're going to need for this is a hair tie of any kind that will hold your hair up in a high ponytail, a bun maker. They sell these at every drugstore ever, and H&M and Forever 21, and they're usually about five bucks. I don't know how much they are at H&M, but I bought mine at Walgreens for five bucks. And then either just a bunch of bobby pins, or if you're feeling extra fancy or short on time, two spin pins. And these are also available at drugstores for about five bucks for the pair of two. So let's get started. Okay, so you wanna start with your hair down, brushed out, ready to go. You can totally do this on second day hair. You may just wanna use some dry shampoo in it to make it a little more like volume and stuff. But I washed my hair this morning, so I'm going to skip that step today. And the first thing that you wanna do is put your hair up in a ponytail, just a high ponytail. This can also work for low ponytails or like mid ponytails, whatever kind of, wherever you want your bun to be is where you're gonna put your ponytail. So. I like to do my, my buns high, so I'm going to do a fairly high ponytail, and you want to just kind of bring it up into your regular ponytail. And this is where you can get really creative. It's this step right here where you have to decide if you want to just do a basic bun, or if you want to throw in like a braid, or like a poof, or something to make it extra fancy. Today we're doing basics. So once you have it all in, you want to just secure it with your elastic just as you normally would. And you want to tie it tight. You want it to be as tight as possible. And then I like to pull it apart and then kind of just pull out some parts here so it's not super tight on my head. That's completely your preference. So once you have your ponytail in, this is where you decide if you want to do method number one or method number two. We're going to start with method number one. I think it's the easiest. So you take your bun maker here and then you're going to put your fingers through it so you can easily grab your ponytail. And then you want to take your hair here and just pull the bun maker around your ponytail like it's another hair tie. So you have your bun maker at the base of your ponytail and you, now you just want to take your hair here and splay it all around the bun maker. So just to cover the top of it with all of your hair. So once you feel like it's all covered you're going to take your fingers and kind of put it around the base of the bun maker kind of pulling your hair in and then grab just any section of your hair. I like to start with the side for whatever reason and start twisting it around. So you're going to just Start twisting your hair as you go around all around the base of the bun maker so it kind of goes either around the sides or underneath the bun maker itself. So then you have your bun maker completely covered by your hair and the rest of your hair spun all the way around. And you want to probably just tuck things under a little bit. And what you're doing right now is gathering all of the ends of your hair into this hand right here. So I have all the ends right here that aren't tucked in. And you want to just wrap that around as far as it'll go. And this is where the pins come in. So if you're using regular bobby pins, then you just want to start pinning it down all around your bun just to keep it in. Um, I like to use spin pins because I think that they're amazing and they just, you really only need two and then you're done. So you're going to take your spin pin with the open side and you're going to put it right over that hair that you're holding. And you're just going to hold down your bun maker and you're going to spin the pin into your hair. So it's going to go close to your scalp and into the bun maker itself because it's made of this like net material. Spin it all the way through and you're good. So I have a few extra ends of my hair in my hand still even after using the spin pin so I'm going to use a regular bobby pin to just pin those down to my head because I'm going to save my other spin pin for the back of my bun. I feel like you get a really secure hold if you use one spin pin in the front and one spin pin in the back. So I just use two regular bobby pins to pin down the ends of my hair in the front so they're not even really visible anymore. And then I have my second spin pin and I'm just going to take it in the back and spin it right in the back like I did in the front. And that is it. That is literally it. This is like a three to five minute hairstyle. I would say five minute tops. It's super simple. So that is it for bun number one or method number one. And it looks like this from the top. So this is a very clean looking bun. It's very put together and nice. I like this a lot. I feel like I wear this most days when I use my bun maker. What do you guys think? 
Okay, so for method number two, you're just gonna do the same thing. Start with your ponytail high. I didn't even take mine out. I left it in from the last time. So literally, same exact process as the first time with the ponytail, either on the bottom or the top, wherever you want it. And then, same thing as last time, put your fingers through the bun maker, grab your hair ponytail situation. So bring your bun maker to the base of your ponytail, and then I'm gonna try to keep this in frame for you. So you just wanna bring it to the end of your ponytail till you have like about this much hair hanging out, even a little less could be okay too. And then you wanna take that little bit of ponytail left and splay it over the bun maker as much as you can. It will not cover it completely, but you wanna go as much as you can. So then you're gonna take your thumbs at the bottom and you're gonna just roll it. You're gonna roll the hair under the bun maker. As you go down, just take the ends, push them under the bun maker and roll the bun maker down over your hair. And this is the part that takes practice, making sure that you keep all the hair covering the bun maker. But as you go down, you get more and more hair. I have layers, so I have a piece here that never goes in. So I tuck that underneath the bun maker through the hole and back around the top once I get down there far enough. Any hairs that you feel like are loose, you just want to tuck back through the hole in the bun maker and just keep rolling until you literally cannot roll anymore. So once you reach the bottom, you could technically go like this because all of your hair is in, but I like my buns to be super secure. So I am going to take any of the extra remaining pieces and use those with the spin pins by just taking them and pressing them, I guess tucking them, underneath the bun maker itself. So you're gonna take your spin pin, same thing, press it under, and then spin it in, and then same deal in the back, you wanna do it on the opposite side of the other, and then use bobby pins to just pin down any extra hairs that are sticking out if you want to, or you can just leave it messy, and you are done. So that's method number two, also super fast. Probably takes 30 seconds longer than the first method, but it really just depends on the look that you're going for. So as you can see, this bun is much like, it's much bigger, it's kind of wider. Here's what it looks like from the top. But they're very similar. You could easily just master one of them, call it a day, and wear that all the time. So anyways guys, there you go. Here are both types of buns. I hope that this was helpful for you. I hope that you enjoyed watching it. And if you guys know of any other techniques that you wanna share or that you want to see me do, comment below and let me know and I would love to do that. So let's talk about it in the comments. You can also talk to me on Twitter, Tumblr, Facebook, Instagram, at ElkoNYC. I would love it if you guys would find me on Twitter because that is my favorite place to talk to you guys and connect with you. So reach out to me there. I will totally just, we'll talk and stuff. Don't forget to subscribe for more stuff like this. I post twice a week and I would love it if you would join my family of lovers and stuff. So I will see you guys next time and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.